Hello, I'm Andy Rash, technical trainer for DMAC Cranes and Components. Today I want to talk about the EEPROM chip found in the DR Pro hoist and bridge with the CAN bus control circuit board. The EEPROM chip contains the parameters for the system. If you forget to take an EEPROM chip from an old board and move it to a replacement board, you will see ADAPSI error codes error 40 and 52 at the same time. So the first thing to look for is checking that you moved the EEPROM. We'd like to show you removal of the pin. It must be removed with no power and plugged back in with absolutely no power. If the points would arc, you will lose parameters on the chip. There's a plastic retaining pin on the EEPROM to hold it in place. If it disappears, you'll have to secure it with a substitute and we would recommend a very small cable tie as a replacement if the pin gets lost. The system is smart enough to sense lost parameters. Error codes can also be shown by the green LED and its flash code. And the bad one to see is six flashes of the green LED and then a skip. This is indicating parameters were lost on the EEPROM chip. One of those parameters is an identity parameter. So if you had a laptop version of ADAPSI and tried to reload the program, it will only receive it if the identity parameter matches the file you're trying to upload. So, if you see six green flashes, you have a very slim chance with an ADAPSI laptop to reflash the chip. Most of the time it doesn't work and a new chip must be ordered that is programmed here at the office in Solon, Ohio. Counter values are also stored as parameters. So when you move the old chip to the new board, you're transferring all the information for programming for a given system and its identity as well as the counter cycles for all the switch gear. So if you're putting in a new board you should go back into the programming of ADAPSI with a laptop and zero the counter values when you put in a new board and transfer the chip. And remember if you forget to move the chip over to the new system and turn power on you will see error codes 40 and 52 at the same time. First thing to check for is the EEPROM chip.